Bravo! That was your performance of the Kusevitsky double bass concerto at the Wrocław Philharmonic Hall in Poland. When was it? Thank you. Uh, yes, it was one of my final performances uh, in December 1996. Uh, this whole video uh, is about my concerts there before relocating to New York City in 1997. And in them I um, collaborated with many fantastic uh, young musicians and colleagues who are all credited in this uh, video. These are my school uh, performances, so clearly I still had much to learn, but it's my sentimental TBT material. You covered a lot of repertoire, from Baroque to contemporary. Who was your teacher and what will we hear next? Next, uh, we're going to hear a, a selection uh, of a Baroque composer Henry Eccles, and then uh, from a late Romantic composer Sergei Rachmaninov. And, but also we're going to hear a few words from my teacher Tadeusz Gurne. <laughs> Mamy okazję słuchać kontrabasu jako instrumentu solowego, a już naprawdę rzadko nam się zdarza taka okazja jak dzisiaj, żeby usłyszeć dyplomanta w sali y, tak wspaniałej, jaką jest Aula Leopoldyńska. A zawdzięczamy to y, i nauczycielowi, i wspaniałemu dyplomantowi. Jak wygląda praca z takim uczniem? Na pewno jest to odpowiedzialna praca i wymagająca Uważnej przede wszystkim pracy, uważnej pracy, takiej wynikliwej, która przynosiłaby jakiś skutek. A praca jest oczywiście wdzięczna, bo przy zdolnym człowieku są to postępy widoczne. I wydaje mi się, że Paweł, Paweł zasłużył na słowa pochwały, uznania i, i, i tak dalej. I tak dalej.
inspired you to choose this instrument? Uh, my first instrument was classical guitar and then uh, I was drawn to the lower register and I started playing uh, the bass guitar um, and finally one day I heard my teacher Tadeusz Górny uh, play the Camille Saint-Saëns cello concerto in A minor on the bass and that along with hearing Gary Carr sealed the deal for me. You mentioned the bass guitar. Can we hear you play it? Absolutely. Um, here is a clip uh, of my group, for example, uh, that was an uh, award-winning outfit uh, at the National Jazz Competition in Elblong, Poland. <laughs> bassists cherish a composer who's not very well known by a wide range of classical music lovers. Tell us about Giovanni Bottesini. Well, uh, he was a 19th century Italian romantic composer. Uh, he was a virtuoso bassist and a conductor. Uh, he left a great range of uh, Italian uh, music inspired repertoire for all the double bassists to enjoy. Uh, the current year, 2021, is also uh, the 200th anniversary of his birth. So it's a very special uh, occasion. Let's hear a few of his uh, solo and duet compositions. <laughs> Thank you. 
also know that your real music love and your composer yourself is for the modern and contemporary repertoire. Yes, uh, in this final um, compilation, uh, we'll hear some Paul Hindemith, then uh, a little bit of Reinhold Glier, and the middle part, Andante, from my own early composition, Humoresque, for double bass and piano. Thanks for the chat. Thank you, my pleasure. Thank mm -hmm. you. 